So, hey guys, Chauzy here. So this is my NAV 500, or well, specifically 501, playthrough of Treasure Map Sorrow. And yeah, this is the first time I've ever got to NAV level 500, so I'm happy with that. Doesn't mean I've done 500 runs though, since we have the cards to skip and I have full batch, I can get a better rate on the card, so yeah. I've actually done less than 300 runs. Uh, I think I am at like 289 or such. That's my guess at least. I keep track by the super bonus maps. Since you know that they come every 25 runs. And then you <laughs> have to take account that the first super bonus map is at nav level 21. So it's a bit skewed. But yeah, that's how I keep track of my runs. But other than that, I've mostly been counting per day how many runs I do. Oh yeah, I should have tried to land on a bird just to do an invasion playthrough. But yeah, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I could actually try and hit it with one of these. I don't need two of those. Yeah. Let's do it for the content. I want to do the... Uh, invasion on my uh, recorded videos I can show all teams so yeah I won't use that slingshot either because of that but yeah let me talk a bit about my journey this treasure map so yeah I have had a normal work week I even worked extra since I usually don't work Fridays now but I'll be working Fridays for a while so I've not been able to play non-stop, but other than work, I spent most time playing Treasure Map. And yeah, I've been in a good groove. I've also used a decently fast strat, which is that I only do the ambush on bonus map or super bonus map. This means that every non-bonus map is decently fast. Doing an exception now, just to show my ambush team. But, yeah, another thing that has, well, been my focus this treasure map is to really get as many nav skips as possible to make that 500 navs while working realistic. And let me tell you that in the beginning, my RNG was out of this world, it was insane. So basically for the first three days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I aimed to do 50 rounds per day, which is rough, but I was able to pull it off. But yeah, those first three days, I got an extra 50 nav levels today, thanks to cards, like on average. Wednesday was a bit more, Thursday, a bit less and then a bit more on Friday, something like that. But yeah, so basically after three days and doing 150 runs, I was at nav level 300-ish, give or take. I think it was a, a nav or two lower than that, but it was pretty accurate. So I was like at this pace, like 500 is going to be free. Maybe I can even get to like close to 600, like yeah, uh, like I had no point of reference. I just knew the luck I've been getting so far at Treasure Map. But then this weekend, that luck just totally reversed. And I've had the worst imaginable luck. So as I said, I'm pretty close to 300 nav levels. And I just hit nav 500. And as you heard, if I kept the previous rate, I'd be close to 600 now. So yeah, it's a stark difference. So yeah, that kind of highlights my main issue with cars. Like even with full batch and having the best rate possible, there's so many RNG factors. The first RNG factor is even getting the cards. And that was my main issue for Posh. Like it goes in cycles to RNG. I had a long stretch of like 50 runs where I barely got a single nav skip card of any kind. And the few I got actually worked. But then we have the RNG of the card actually working. And 
unless you get a 100% card, which is incredibly rare, even with full batch, uh, you still have to do a roll, like personal, like with full batch, you only get like 50%, 70% or 100%. And let me tell you, like I had a portion where literally every card I use fail, and that includes a lot of 70% cards. Like the feeling of getting like a six nav skip card, 70%, you're having bad RNG and you continue to get bad RNG, that's just the worst feeling in the world. Uh, my current luck has been pretty good, like I'm not getting a lot of nav skip cards, uh, but they do, once I get usually works, if it's 50%, it, it really feels like a 50-50, 70% usually works. Uh, just before this run I got a plus four card, 70% and it worked which pushed me right about nav level 500 But yeah, it, gave me, it has given me some perspective of what to expect if I go really hard again But yeah, I think that's enough talk about the cards But it doesn't really incentivize me to try and go a lot harder I feel like but yeah, let's talk about the teams now. I'm actually very happy with this team. Uh, made it myself and it has held up really well. Uh, in a few nav levels, like maybe 100 nav levels, I probably need to start thinking about adding a conditional. Perone is partly for that, but with the Nami Caratil, Perone doesn't work. So I need to use something else. I actually used the wrong shanks there, that's so dumb. I have this shanks to have the weaver support, so I get an ore boost. So I wasted a bit of time there. But yeah, uh, I do a lot of damage there, but remember, usually I skip the ambush, I do less damage, so the damage I do now is not really representative. But yeah, optimally, you shouldn't skip ambush as much as I have. My, my main goal has been that nav 500 and I wanted runs to be as fast as possible. Uh, there are ways to make the navs go even faster though, which I'll try next treasure map. Basically, as far as I know, I'm going to talk with more knowledgeable people ahead of next treasure map. With the current maps, you can always set up so you get uh, the same two bosses on the map every run. You just have to go different routes and such, but it's consistently the same two, as far as I know. Which means that the optimal speed strat is to always have two on the map, and usually it's three and four, I think it is. So I'll probably try that next uh, time, uh, or next treasure map, then we'll see how far hard I want to go. One big motivator for me going hard this treasure map is to get back all of the limit break materials I wasted on Ace. But yeah, uh, shout outs to Mugiwaras for making this team. It has worked really well. I've enjoyed it a lot. So this is the only team I ripped off, I guess. The others I made by myself, that's what I prefer and it's what people should do in general just because everybody has very different boxes. So I have the same approach when I make teams for you guys to give inspiration. It's mainly to be inspiration to give more ideas. And you should always change and adapt like if you have something better boosted, stuff like that. But yeah, I've been pretty happy with this team too. Uh, since it's the max possible boost for a mini boss, we have a lot of 1.4 times boosters here. Also, the fact that I only have to swap once. This is by killing with two white beard and then ending with tapping on Sorrow. This will give him an extra charge since Sora has a recovery orb. I made a video about this a while back. But yeah, only one swap is chill. And I'm guaranteed to swap back to quick final stage unless I get the. Uh, bonus map on the first stage with the Tama, then I have to be Dex Sorrow, but it's fine. I overkill quite a bit here, thanks to me having the Rainbow Sorrow Sandy with that Super Tandem. But as you see, I don't even use Robin Law Special, who gives a color affinity, and that obviously will have made a big difference. So 
Yeah, very solid team. Probably not something I'd use normally since swapping is very annoying in treasure map mini bosses. But yeah, it's good to have one team that can give some extra points. And yeah, finally the main boss. <laughs> This boss is so boring, you have to use so many specials and tap with so many units. But yeah, can't complain. Uh, this boss also has a nice little break there when you go from stage 2 to 3, it takes forever. So you can relax your brain a bit. Uh, honestly, I'm not that tired, I've not really sacrificed any sleep or anything for this, so yeah. In that case, a pretty healthy top 20. Like ranking in this game on global is getting harder and harder every passing year. So my performance, this treasure map, if we go like three years back, will have been a very, very easy top 10. But that's not the case anymore. People are uh, way more serious about grinding this game. Like it's a small subset of the overall community, but it's still a live and thriving thing. So I do think it's very cool and that's why I try and uh, make people aware of it from time to time. Like of, compared to most other content creators I have a bit more interest and participation in ranked events. In general like most of the player base care about Super Boss Kizuna of course. I'm probably the opposite here. I'm one of the kind of creators who cares the least about Kizuna, but I talk about that generally. Speaking of Kizuna, I'm very excited, as I said in my video before, about finally having that in-game team builder. Something I think I didn't say in that video is that that basically means the end of one team for all for me. There's just no reason to do it anymore. The main reason I did one team for all in the first place was to save space in the crew menu, but there's no reason to do that anymore. But yeah, this run is over. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we end. And yeah, after this I have a bonus map, and I think the super bonus map is after that, so uh, that will be my final and the super bonus map. And if I do beat the next super bonus map, that means I've done 295 runs, which I think is pretty good uh, while working for all time, at least for an relatively old guy like me, at least for this community. So yeah, let's take a look at the ranking. So I'm 70th right now, I've been going back and forth with this Korean guy. Uh, we also have Kadal Mati below, I think he's TRA, he was before at least. And then I have a nice gap here to the 21th. So I'm going to get the top 20 rewards. We have a lot of theory about me though. If you look at the top 10, we have Stay winning his second trash map in a row, I think. He did over 900 now levels this time. Last time, I think he's close to that at least. This time, we have Garens. From TRA1 at second. Bundesnu from AF, who basically finishes top five in every event. He's a real machine. Uh, LS from TRA1, who also does well in most events. Uh, other than that, one is also does well often. So, yeah. And as you can see, there's a big gap between 10th and 11th. So, yeah, even if I didn't work full time. Getting top 10 would have been rough with those points. But of course, if my goal was to rank higher and I had more time, I'd dropped the no ambush strat earlier and my point gain will be considerably higher, to say the least. But yeah, with that said, that's my now 501 playthrough versus Treasure Map Sorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.